Hello students, welcome to my channel. We can discuss about chloride shift or hamburger phenomenon. Before going to the topic, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Like, share among your friends and comment. Chloride shift is the process of elimination of carbon dioxide from tissues and release into the alveolar tissue. Carbon dioxide is produced in the cells as a result of cellular respiration that you already studied glycolysis, Krebs cycle or TCA cycle and electron transport chain. So as a result of this intermediary metabolism or metabolic process carbon dioxide is produced in the cell. That carbon dioxide will diffuse into the interstitial fluid and dissolve in blood plasma. In the blood plasma, carbon dioxide will enter into RBC and combines with water. Combines with water. Here, the enzyme responsible for the combination of carbon dioxide with water is called as carbonic anhydrase which is present in RBC, carbonic anhydrase. The enzyme which is present in the RBC help carbon dioxide combines with water and form carbonic acid H2CO3. You know carbonic acid is a weak dibasic acid so which will undergo ionization and form H plus ions and HCO3 minus that means bicarbonate ions. H plus ion will combine with oxygen free hemoglobin and form hemoglobulinic acid HHB hemoglobulinic acid. Here bicarbonate ion will form and diffuse into blood plasma and combine with this sodium ion and form sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3. You know, blood plasma contains sodium chloride NaCl which you can which can be seen as Na plus ions and Cl minus ions. When HCO3 or bicarbonate ion diffuse into plasma from RBC, what will happen? The chloride ion will enter into RBC and combines with the potassium ions present in the RBC and form potassium chloride. So here what is happening? Shifting of chloride ions into RBC occurs. That is why it is called chloride shift or hamburger phenomena. See here in tissues carbon dioxide form which diffuse into blood, enter into RBC and combines with water. So carbonic anhydrase is the enzyme. Carbonic anhydrase is the fastest enzyme in the human body which help to form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid split form H plus and HCO3 minus ion. H plus ions combines with oxygen free hemoglobin and form HHB is called hemoglobulinic acid. Then bicarbonate ion will diffuse out from RBC into plasma combines with Na plus ion form sodium bicarbonate. The same time chloride ion shift occurs into RBC combines with potassium and form potassium chloride. This is how carbon dioxide transport from cell or tissues to lungs occurs. In the lungs reverse reaction take place. What is reverse reaction? Sodium bicarbonate will split into form sodium ion and bicarbonate ion. Bicarbonate ion enter into RBC. Same time potassium chloride split and form K plus and Cl minus. Cl will diffuse into plasma. Then the reverse of this reaction occurs and carbon dioxide will release through the lungs. That means from the blood to lungs occurs and which will exhale out. Here is the diagrammatic representation of chloride shift. This figure shows the mechanism of chloride shift. 
See here, carbon dioxide is reasonably lipid soluble and is easily able to negotiate the lipid bilayer gaining entry into the cell. Hydrogen ions are buffered by the intracellular proteins and phosphates. Bicarbonate is exchanged with extracellular chloride by the band 3 membrane transporter. This phenomenon is only possible because of the presence of carbonic anhydrase. It is a critically important element. Without it, the reaction converting carbon dioxide to bicarbonate would be slow. This diagram shows the chloride shift in the peripheral capillaries and reverse of the chloride shift occurs in the pulmonary capillaries. See the peripheral capillaries, you know, chloride shift occurs in venous blood, reverse chloride shift occurs in arterial blood. Significance of chloride shift. The first one is mitigation of pH change in the peripheral circulation. pH of the peripheral blood would change significantly more if deoxygenated RBCs were not there to buffer the acid and sequester the chloride. Second one, increase in the carbon dioxide carrying capacity of the blood. The effect of shuttling chloride into the RBC and bicarbonate out of them increases the total potential bicarbonate carriage by the venous blood which is good because most carbon dioxide is carried as bicarbonate. Third one, liberation of oxygen. Just as carbon dioxide, chloride is an allosteric modulator of the hemoglobin molecule. Chloride binding to the hemoglobin molecule stabilizes it in the transition state, making oxygen available to the tissue. In humans, this role is probably not dominant but in other animal, it may actually be the main mediator of oxygen loading and unloading. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel.